hey, Nate, I'm really excited about your project. I think it sounds awesome. I've always loved games that have been more about playing the game and experiencing the game rather than just beating the game, completing the game, getting the trophies, getting the achievements, beating the high score, what have you. Um, just one thing to think about when the t it comes time to present your project, I think you might want to spend you know a couple days thinking about how you want to present your project when the player comes and is getting ready to play your game, what kind of environment you want them to be in. Uh, thinking about retro gaming cabinets, they've always had to do with it's one, you know, one part is the game, but the second part is making the player feel like they're a part of the game, making it feel more immersive. You know, racing games tend to have the seat of the vehicle that you're about to pilot for the player to sit in and make them feel like they're actually really driving this car, this this hovercraft of some sort. Um, guitar freaks and the Guitar Hero uh, arcade games have the all the lights and the fog machines and stuff for people to sit stand in and actually feel like they're performing in a concert. So I think you need to put some attention to that and that just makes the game ten times better. Um, the concept that you've shown is fantastic. I'm really excited to see it. Uh, Snail Tech is an awesome name. It just it sounds interesting. It sounds fun. I can't wait to see it. Uh, just make sure you don't give Kurt too many swirlies or wedgies or else he just won't help you. And that would be no fun for everyone. <laughs>